Hello and welcome to season 3 of the awesome TV show with Nikhil Taneja. I'm your host for every season Nikhil Taneja and I'm back with more recommendations, more listicles and more hair on my face. This season we are going to give you every month the top 5 shows of the month, a lowdown of what's streaming and where and some of the best shows from every genre. We're also going to have more text articles, more social media recommendations on the best shows to watch every week and more Facebook and Insta lives to discuss the shows we can't stop talking about. Yes, you're gonna definitely see, hear and read more of me. I apologize for that in advance and promise to make less terrible jokes. So here are the top five shows of March. At number five, Love season three on Netflix. Judd Apatow's awkward, funny and sometimes inconsistent comedy Love and it's its three season arc with exactly the kind of moment that makes his shows so human and real. Though titled Love, the series has always been about people who are at that point in their lives where they are old enough to want to have meaningful relationships but cynical enough to never believe that's possible. What does love really mean when you feel too little or perhaps feel too much but can't admit it? This show doesn't pretend to have the answers but it sure does try. Also, Jillian Jacobs is pure awesome. At number 4, Sneaky Pete on Amazon Prime Video. Co-created by Walter White aka Brian Cranston, Sneaky Pete is the kind of compelling, addictive, Binge watch because of which you'll keep shifting your plans for the weekend as you'll want to watch just one more episode and suddenly you're in a rabbit hole that you didn't even know you actually love being in. A fantastic drama about a good-hearted con man who's either pulling off a great con or getting con. If a Bollywood movie was a TV series, of course without the song and dance, this would be it. Also, Giovanni Ribisi or Frank Jr. Jr. needs to do more shows. At number 3, High Maintenance Season 2 on Hotstar. The most incredible thing about life is that it is somehow the same thing for everyone and yet completely bizarrely unique for each of us. We are really the sum of the stories we have lived and the experiences we have had. And if there's one show that shines a light on our diversity and yet roots them in our commonness, it's this one. An anthology of different stories set in and around the world of Brooklyn millennials who use weed to get by. This is the kind of show for a quiet night in. Also, Ben Sinclair and Katya Blykefield need to make a movie right now. At number 2, Mozart in the Jungle Season 4 on Amazon Prime Video. It's quite unbelievable to me that a show as charming and enjoyable as Mozart in the Jungle isn't as popular or well-known as perhaps any other show in peak TV. Set in the untraditional world of classical music, the show is a fascinating dramedy about characters after their own heart. Season 4 is one of its best and much like La La Land, explores if great art and great love can coexist. There's this exquisitely beautiful episode set in Japan that shows how making tea is really a metaphor for our existence. Just watch it already. Also, is there a more interesting actor than Gail Garcia Bernal on TV? I really don't think so. At number one, Wild Wild Country on Netflix. Everyone's talking about this docuseries and for damn good reason. Wild Wild Country is one of the most incredible and incredulous documentaries that you'll ever see. It's an untold Shakespearean story of our homegrown spiritual guru, Osho, but not a story about him. While exploring the chaos that follows when state and religion go after each other, it also asks a fundamental question. If a large section of people decide to create their own version of society, should the existing society make way for their rights or should they worry about their own? Also, can we please officially call Ma Anand Sheila the most badass Indian woman we have never known about? If these shows aren't enough for you, check out the next episode of the awesome TV show where I'll tell you what's streaming and where. So please do comment on this below and let me know your thoughts and do like, subscribe and share the Film Companion channel and don't forget to follow me on all social media handles on Taneja Mehu because Taneja Mehu Marketer.